Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this very different video as a giant has just debuted in WWE. He has just made his very first appearance. I believe this happened yesterday. Uh, I really wanted to do a video on this yesterday, but there's been so much coming out of San Diego Comic Con uh, that we've just been doing video after video after video uh, all about what's been happening there. But I really, really wanted to cover this story um, because it is huge in every sense of the word. Uh, so I can tell you that Jordan Omogbihin, right, who is a former college basketball star, has just made his debut down in NXT. Now, this happened at a house show. Uh, we do have pictures, but before I show you the pictures, we kind of have to put it into context as to just how big this guy is. So let's talk about the biggest person we've seen recently, the Great Carly. Uh, you can see an image here of the Great Carly towering over Rey Mysterio. Well, the Great Carly is seven foot one. Okay, seven foot one. I can tell you that Andre the Giant is seven foot four. But that is heavily disputed. Uh, a lot of people think he was probably more around the seven foot mark. So seven four might be WWE's way of just pushing it up a little bit. Uh, but he was around that mark. Uh, Jordan Omogbian is a guaranteed seven foot three. So he is potentially taller than Andre. Definitely taller than the great Carly. This makes him, I believe, maybe the second biggest person to ever compete in WWE. Not sure how he compares to the giant Gonzalez, um, but he is right up there. We are talking, when it comes to giants, one of the biggest superstars you will ever have seen. Uh, so here's the image. You can see him in ring. Uh, this was NXT uh, House Show down in Lakeland, Florida. I believe it was a handicap match, his opponents being Team 3.0, who I've got to be honest, I've never heard of. Um, but yes, look at this guy. Now, I've actually been talking about him for a while. Uh, he signed with WWE back in November. I'm sure he came in around the same time as Matt Riddle, and he was part of that same class. So I expected to see him maybe in the Royal Rumble. I expected to see him at the Saudi Arabia show. I wondered if he might join up with Bray Wyatt uh, when the Fun House was on because he would be such a big, impressive person to make an appearance with Bray Wyatt. Um, so, yeah, I didn't know how they were going to use him. I still don't know how they're going to use him. But however this guy makes his debut, it is going to make a massive splash when it happens. It is going to make a massive impact on social media. So you need to know that this guy is on the way. Braun Strowman didn't actually appear that many times uh, when he was down in NXT. I remember him being a rosebud for Adam Rose. Um, but yeah, I don't remember him being in NXT matches. Uh, and then obviously he debuted as part of the Wyatt family. They could do something similar with this guy. Uh, he might skip NXT. And because he's so big, so impressive, they might just put him straight on the main roster. I, I reckon SmackDown, when it moves to Fox, that would be a great time to bring this guy up. That would be a great time for this guy to make uh, a splash. Could you imagine that first show on Fox? You've got this brand new audience watching. You want to make a big impression? Bring this guy out. Even wrestling fans, most wrestling fans aren't going to be aware of him. What they can do is work uh, on his wrestling down in the performance center uh, on house shows. But can't really afford to use him too much uh, because people are starting to talk like we're starting to talk. Um, but the casual fans that only dip in every now and again with wrestling, they're still not going to know. And what a way to bring him up. I would use him there. I would send him straight to SmackDown when it moves to Fox. Uh, and use him that way. You don't have to go through NXT. Braun Strowman didn't, for example. Um, just put him straight on the main roster. So that's what I'm saying. This is big, big news. Even though he's only debuted at a house show, 
SmackDown in NXT, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Um, just know that this guy is coming. He's big. He is imposing. You're going to get awesome Mattel figures from it. Um, he is going to cause havoc, and I don't know how they're going to use him. Let me know your thoughts. How would you use this guy? Let me know in the comments below, because this guy, when he debuts, he is going to change the game. I'm telling you, this guy is a big, big deal. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this news, make sure you give that video a like. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.